What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another adventure of Peacock Bash. And today we got a few a few announcements. I'm sorry. We have a few exciting announcements today. I'm going out of town for a couple days and I'm going to the Bahamas. I'm gonna try my best to get as much dope footage as I can. I'm gonna take my GoPro. I'm gonna take my, my underwater cameras. I'm gonna take everything with me that I need. My computer, laptop, everything that I will need. I'm gonna take it on a trip with me. Hopefully, I'm not 100% sure what kind of footage I'll be getting down there. I'm not even sure what kind of events I'll be able to do because I'm only down there for a short amount of time and I'm really going down there just to help some family out down in the islands. Aside from that, this episode is definitely based on an update of all the pets that I have. The pool Pond, the Red Tegu, the Blue Tongue Skink, the 200 Gallon, everything. Today we are going to do a live feeding and I think that you guys are going to enjoy this. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys want to see on the next episode? Shoot a couple ideas. We're going to probably start doing the positive comment shout out just to get you guys involved more with the channel and the comments. And like I said, man, we're going to go ahead and give you guys an update on how everything is doing. And we'll see you guys on the inside. So we made it into the house. And as you can see, the 200 gallon is, you might as well say it's empty. Like all this free space, you might as well say this tank is empty but it's not. I still have my two Tementis Peacocks that are in here that I ordered online. And they're the only ones in here right now because they are being treated for it that they have and it's really not a bad situation. Um, they are still very, 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 very flighty. They are wild caught and they did come in at a decent size. So we still have to give these guys time to acclimate to the tank and to their new environment. But right now, they're the only two fish that's in here and they're being treated for it. As soon as that it clears up, we're gonna do a complete water change on this tank and we're gonna have, I want you guys to throw me ideas. What do you guys wanna see go into this 200 gallon tank? Guys, my cameraman just called me ugly because I look like a caveman. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right though, it's all right. Like I said, I'm going out of town. I'm just waiting. I don't wanna get a haircut now and then I gotta get one a couple days later. So. As you guys can see, she is doing absolutely fine. She is shedding once again. We're gonna see if she's hungry today. There's gonna be a lot of people. Yo, why are you feeding your reptiles dog food? Well, if you think about it, dog food has the right proteins that the reptiles need. And it also has chicken, turkey, vegetables, and all type of nut nutritious stuff that also fits the diet of other animals. I've owned a lot of reptiles in the past. And honestly, I think this might be one of the smartest lizards that I've ever owned. If you guys have the time, and the space and if you guys are willing to do your research I would highly recommend you guys get a take uh, such a messy eater <laughs> <laughs> let's give her a big chunk come on just checking the camera out yeah. it's like yo yeah, what, what is that man you guys are watching me eat. See, she does have manners. She is wiping her face. Come on. Nice big chunk right here for you. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. And like I said, this is chicken with a little bit of gravy and some vegetables mixed in here. And as you can see, she loves it. It gets her fat. She is shedding for the second time in a couple months. That's uh, fantastic. That means she's growing super fast. So we're gonna go ahead and um, let her finish her food. I'm gonna place this right here for her. Voila. And we're gonna go ahead and let her finish her food in peace. And we're gonna go ahead and finish feeding the rest of the animals. The pond is ready to be fed and we have our plate full of our freshly sliced tilapia. I just bought this from the meat store. You guys, come over this way. You can see all the monsters are ready. They are front and center. Look at this peacock. Look at this peacock. You've never seen a peacock ready like this. <laughs> You've never seen a peacock ready like this. And like I said, guys, this is, from what I know and from what I've seen, this is the only peacock on Instagram that will hand feed and he eats cold cuts. This peacock. Let me see if I can get him to hand feed. This isn't a cold cut, it is tilapia. But he does love cold cuts, he loves turkey. For some weird reason, whatever. Ah. Oh. 
Ho ho. You gotta, Guys, if you could do that again, you gotta do that again. Alright. So, now that he has hand, and now that he just grabbed that out of my hand, everybody smells the food. He probably won't be the next one to hit this as fast as Big Bass is probably gonna get it before him. You ready? Oh, no. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, did you see that? The Oscar jumped out of the water. The yeah. bass ate a leaf. <laughs> Yo, this pond is hilarious. They know, they know what tilapia is. Look, check this out. <laughs> He's so fat. Look at him. All right, big bass. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's how you know your fish love you. So now that we got our little show on the rope, the Oscars were just jumping out of the pond. Let's see if I can get a little bit again. It was looking like a, like a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the peacock got that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give our Oscar an A for effort. Wait, he's got the bass right here in his face. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Got the bass right here, buddy. Come on. He's like a fat ninja turtle. Come on. Right here. Right here. Right here. Come on. Ah. <laughs> and the bass ate another leaf. These fish are hungry. Come on. So, and like I said, we did move our albino arowana and our platinum in here. They are in the back right here. Let's see if we can bring them up to the front. Oh, there's our platinum. He's waking up. You might have to walk around a little bit so we can get everybody. Oh, here's our arowana right here. Our platinum is down here. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is absolutely crazy. You can see how big the platinum is getting. Our bass is just, he's so big and he's in the way that he won't give anybody a chance to really eat. So we're going to go ahead and spread this food out just like that. Hey, bro, you want to hand feed the bass? Nah. Yeah. Definitely. Don't drop it. Right. Oh! What if he kills my shit? Hold it. Right there. Hold what? it. Don't move. Don't move. Hold it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold the camera. You hold the camera. I got fish juice on my head. <laughs> let's get it. Hey, let's get it, bro. Don't move. I, I, Put I, it right I, there in his face. Come ready. on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah! Hey, you do it. Ha! 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 Woo. Let's see if we can get some other fish to eat for the camera. That was a nice adrenaline rush. <laughs> Let's see, who can we get to eat over here? Who can eat out of my hand? Let's see. Who's gonna eat out of my hand? Oh, the Oscar got that. The like platinum right here, he's like slightly blind because it's daytime and it's oh 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 he just swallowed my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes our clown. Our arowana right here. Ooh, we got that eat. Nice eat on camera. Hey, come get your bass, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to clean the filter. Come get your bass. There you go. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I love my pool pond. These fish love me, and they're very used to human interaction, as you can see here. Who else can we? Oh, here's our other catfish. Let's see if we can get him to eat. Right here. No, no. Oh. Oh no, 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 not the puppy. Alright guys, so we have our last animal on the list to feed, and that is Goku. By the way, he is doing fine. What's up, buddy? And he has almost the same diet as a Tegu. From I always switch both of their diets up. Eggshells, eggs, egg yolk, meat, dog food, vegetables. It all varies, it all kind of depends on what I have that day. And as you can see right here, this is chicken like I said, and this is Goku doing fine as well. He's still grumpy. We can still handle him though, but 
Let's see if he'll eat today. What's up, buddy? See? Golly. Like, was that necessary? Like, look how... Guys, that was completely unnecessary. He just completely attacked the spoon and then went back for it. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as you can see, he eats the dog food too. Look at him. Chomping on that as well. <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. He's he's in the middle of eating right now. Yeah, so this is a blue tongue skink. I named him Goku. Uh, they told me he was a male. I believe I got him at the Reptile Export uh, Expo, I think, last year sometime. Yeah, you did. Yeah, last year. Or uh, a couple months ago, because I haven't even been doing YouTube for a whole year now, so scratch that. But ever since I bought this animal, I've really enjoyed him. I really, I really enjoy his company. He's actually one of the more cooler reptiles that I own out of the two. This one, I can take this guy probably anywhere with me. He'll ride on the dashboard or whatever. The Tegu is, you know, you can't really hold those back. You can't really hold those, so you have to let them free roam. So that's why I kind of enjoy this guy. He's kind of pretty much down with whatever. As you can see, he's down with eating out of the spoon. All my animals are. <laughs> Yo, he is starving right now because he's like, he's like attacking the spoon. <laughs> Wow. All right, so he's ate out of the spoon a few times. So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and let him finish his meal in peace. So that was our little feeding video. I gave you guys an update on how all my animals are doing. My Tegu, my blue tongue skink, the pool pond, the 200 gallon tank. Guys, let me know in the comments below, what else do you wanna see go into that 200 gallon tank? Go ahead and drop those ideas in the comments below because I am watching and I do take those comments into mind. Guys, like I said, stay tuned. We got some dope footage coming up. I am going out of town. I'm going to the islands. I'm going down there. I'm not sure what to expect. I can say that. It might just be a mini vacation. It might just be something just for my family. I'm not sure yet, but whatever footage I can get, I'm going to get it for you guys. So please stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Peacock Bash.